Hey guys, Amanda here, Independent Sensi Director. Thanks for joining my channel again to see more Sensi goodies. Um, I can't wait to share this with you. We have a brand new catalog out right now. It just launched this month and we have some new fragrances to share with you guys. So I wanted to get started with that and just kind of go do a little sniff session with you, if you will, and describe what each of these fragrances uh, smell like and then give you my personal opinion. So I'm gonna read from the catalog so that I don't get these scents wrong and then I'll smell them and let you know what I think. So the first scent that I have here is called Make Me Snicker Doodle. And this one is described as homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon and baked to perfection. That sounds pretty good. So sugar cookie, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, that one's really good. So this one actually does remind me of sugar cookie and there's some cinnamon added in there. If you're a fan of sugar cookie or bakery type of scents, I'm telling you, you're probably really gonna like this one. This one's a winner. I like that. So next we have uh, cranberry and cardamom. This is a really good one. I made some samples out of these already, so um, that's why they look empty, but don't worry, I can still smell them. Uh, so this one is bold cherry and white cranberry. Mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. Oh yeah, this one's really good. Oh, so I'm not really a fan of cherry scents, but because it's mixed with the cranberry, oh, this is a good holiday fruity scent. Oh, this one smells really good. Yep, I don't even know if I can smell so much of the cardamom, but definitely cranberry. If you like cranberry holiday scents, you're gonna like this one. Super good. Next, we have frosted cedar. Red delicious apple adorns towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. Interesting. Oh yes. Oh, this one smells kind of fresh. It's light. It's not like a really heavy tree scent. I really like that you can smell very faintly a little bit of the apple. Mmm, this one is really good. If you like outdoorsy and fresh scents um, and fruit, like it's so subtle. This is really good mix of the apple and the cedar and the vanilla. I highly recommend this one. That one's very good. Okay, next we have Frosty Air. This one is sweet citrus and lily of the valley stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. Oh, this one is very clean. This one almost smells like, um, ooh, I wish I could put my finger on it. Uh, I think we've had one very similar to this in the, in the past, but this is a fresh scent. It's gonna smell clean. It's gonna smell almost laundry-like. This one's a good one for a frosty air. I don't smell like what you would think normally if you smell uh, like things that say frosty. You think you might smell, um, uh, peppermint, but there's no peppermint in this one. So it's a really good fresh scent. So next we have red currant wreath. So let's see, red currant wreath is red currant and winter berries spice up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood branches. Hmm. Okay. So this one is in our spice category. Ooh, okay, so I smell the berries. I'm not sure if I smell so much sandalwood, but definitely the red currant and the berries. I don't even really think this is a tree smell. I don't smell much evergreen, maybe slightly. Okay, I just got the after scent there. So red currant wreath is gonna be kind of like, um, definitely the berries. I smell berry and I smell after hint of wreath. So this one is gonna be really good for the holidays as well, like around Christmas time. So this one is called Dashing. It's irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. Oh, this one's so good. This one is very comforting and a little bit manly, but not too much. I love the mahogany. You can totally smell the mahogany in that and then the fresh night sky. 
I know Fresh Night Sky doesn't really have a scent per se, but if you could imagine, it's a nice um, outdoorsy, mahogany, like fresh kind of scent. You definitely feel like you're outside in that one. That one smells good. Next is Golden Garland. So Golden Garland is described as forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals, sparkling orange twist, and a touch of golden musk. Mm. This one, it says in the catalog, it's part of the fresh category. However, I would probably put it in floral. I can smell the floral from the marigold petals and a little bit of the pine needles actually. So the fact that it is a fresh scent is interesting. Maybe because it smells outdoorsy, it smells kind of that floral and the pine needles. I smell those coming out most. Um, the next one is fall feeling. Fall feeling. This is described as fresh blood orange and sugared cranberry, cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. Oh, if you like fall scents, this one's for you. This one smells really good. I don't smell so much cranberry. I definitely smell the juniper sprigs and the blood orange because blood orange is a little bit more bitter than regular orange fragrances that kind of have a sweet scent to them. This one is really good. This one definitely smells like if you're driving along a scenic path and you're passing by the trees with all the changing colored leaves. This one definitely reminds me of fall. If you like fall fragrances, this is a winner. Okay, next is Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is described as Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. So this one gives me, um, oh, what is that called? Um, uh, incense vibes. It's, it totally smells like incense. It's the Palo Santo. It's really good and a little bit of the cinnamon bark. This is a good scent. So if you like um, burning intimate, uh, intimate. <laughs> incense sticks, this one, the Palo Santo in this, it's, it's great. It smells so good. I really enjoy this one. It brings me back to the days when I was in high school and <laughs> I used to burn Nag Champa. Do you know that scent? Some people back in the day might remember. I don't know if I'm showing my age or not, but that one is actually really good. Next is Midnight Mahogany. So this one is described as juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlit stroll. <sighs> okay, so this one is in our woodsy category and it's definitely woodsy. You smell the mahogany for sure. <sighs> that one smells really good. I'm trying to describe, maybe it is the black plum plum or the cinnamon leaf because it's you know leaf is the plant not just the actual cinnamon spice um it's definitely an outdoorsy scent I enjoy this I'm not normally a fan of outdoorsy scents there are just like bakery it's not my favorite so but this one smells really good there are some scents that I just don't like and then some that are like oh okay maybe I should branch out and try new scents this is one that I would branch out on I like this one this smells really good so those are the 10 new fragrances that we have available in our brand new catalog that just launched this month. If you would like to smell any of them, shoot me a message. Let me know. Let me know. If you want a catalog, let me know. You could also scan that QR code. That'll take you directly to my link. And I am here to answer any questions you guys have at all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Mwah.